what will I do to increase funding for this work? Okay, so um, again, I'm gonna go back to planning because we can't do everything at once. So um, there needs to be a, an assessment of how much are we putting into our street trees? Is it enough? Um, there's a limited amount of funding uh, on a year to year basis, even though our, our city budget is, is astronomical. Um, I've, I've, I've been an advocate for trees my, my whole life and I, I've fought to preserve trees uh, in, in many different areas around the city. Um, and so um, I've worked with people from the natural resources department to, um, to preserve some trees and, and to have more planted. So um, anything we can do, I, I, I certainly would use the, uh, the bully pulpit to, to promote more pre trees within the city. Uh, one idea is we, we have some areas where we need to restore some wetlands. Uh, we should develop our own tree farm so that we're bringing the cost of trees down. Uh, this area's um, wetlands around Faxon Park that we could uh, definitely um, utilize as a tree farm to, to build more, uh, to grow more trees so that we have uh, cultivated trees that we can uh, get for a much lower price so we can plant more around the city. So there's a lot of good ideas out there, but we've got to have some opportunity to have planning so that we can look at where do we want to go? Is trees the number one issue or is it net zero buildings or is it more bike, bike um, uh, paths? Um, a whole variety of, of topics here. So um, first step, let's get some planning done so that we can look at the big issue of the environment overall and find out where we, where we need to go. Uh, it, it's probably my last chance to talk. So I just want to say thank you to QCAM for the uh, great event tonight. I know how hard these are. I put the first um, environmental candidates night on within the city of Quincy back in 2002, when it was Sheets versus Phelan years ago. And um, they're, they're not easy to do. So tip of the hat to you guys for putting together a great event.